Thank you for the kind words, Tom, and thank you to the organisers for inviting me to speak today. Um, I want to just say to start with that it's of course appropriate that the life of uh, Commander Qasem Soleimani is commemorated by Iranians, by Muslims, by people of the resistance because that is who he was. But I want to give a perspective from an Australian humanist too, an appreciation from a different point of view um, of the remarkable life and example of Soleimani. Soleimani at a personal level, and you can say this transcends religion, it transcends culture, was a remarkable example of humility, of dedication, of self-sacrifice and love. And clearly it's those characters that endeared him to the people of the region. And I think in the last year, people of the world are beginning to learn more about this example and why it was that he was such a loved man, not simply in his own country, but also in Palestine, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, and in Yemen. Now, they are very different contexts and, for example, the struggle against the dirty war in Syria, in Palestine, the, the ethnic cleansing of Palestine, the destruction of Lebanon. Um, the contexts are rather different. In Syria there is a, uh, a fight for a pluralistic, less religious state there. And Soleimani adapted to that and had very close relationship with the, command, with the Syrian commanders. Similarly, you can say the same thing in Palestine, in Lebanon. He had a unique relationship which was not a, an attempt at ideological hegemony but one of comradely uh, assistance and solidarity with the people in their struggles, such as at the time when he was in South Lebanon at the time of the in Israeli invasion of 2006. But there's something that Soleimani initiated as an agent of Iran, of the Islamic Republic of Iran, as a servant, a humble servant of Iran, and that was to create very powerful bonds between the forces of resistance, and by resistance I mean resistance to imperialism, to the intervention of the great evil in the region, the, the forces unleashed by Washington, their agents such as Daesh, al-Nusra, MEK and other forces, and of Zionist ethnic cleansing which touches most of the peoples of the region. Soleimani's role was to bring those forces together, to bring the build create the foundations of a bond of resistance there because, and I can't help but reflect on my own experience in Latin America here, uh, I think of the words of Jose Marti in the 19th century. Marti said that the trees have to form ranks to form files to come together so the giant with the seven league boots can't pass between them. It's not possible for little people to stand up to these big powers separately and divided and we know very well, and Soleimani's successors in the Islamic Republic of Iran are saying today that the plot against the region was precisely to disintegrate the region, to break it into, into slivers, into fractions, uh, to divide Iran from Iraq. That's why Al-Qaeda in Iraq was created. To divide Syria from Iraq and from Iran, that's why Daesh was created. And to fragment those states, to federalize Iraq, to break Syria into little warring ethnic enclaves, to re-tribalize the peoples of the region, to destroy the culture that brought them together. So in creating the foundation, the bonds of that regional resistance, um, and I've said this before, that in November 2017, when Commander Soleimani went to his leader, the leader of Iran, and said that the enemy Daesh had been defeated in all the cities and towns of the region, he wasn't just reporting as a general of Iran, he was reporting as a general, as a commander of the regional resistance against the plot by imperialism, by Zionism against the region. And I think after 40 years of training, because even during the war backed by the US, by Saddam Hussein against Iran, Soleimani was training other commanders when he was a young man even there after 40 years of training and after 
the contemplation we're making to what's been called Soleimani's living school of thought, the lessons, the legacy, the foundations and the people are there to carry on that tradition of Soleimani, to bring the people together and to expel the forces that have been trying to disintegrate and destroy the forces of resistance, the independent peoples of the region. Thank you very much.